Hi, my name is Laura and I'm a university student. I smoke cannabis on the weekends to help relieve stress. Well, this is confusing. Is this a medical or a recreational reason to use cannabis? And what's the difference? The Canadian Collaborative for Childhood Cannabinoid Therapeutics, also known as C4T, is an academic research team of parents, youth, healthcare providers, and scientists who are studying medical cannabis use by children. Our goal is to create and share evidence about the safety and potential benefits of medical cannabis in children. In Canada, medical and recreational cannabis products do not have different quality or labeling regulations, which can create confusion for youth. It's important to highlight the diverse perceptions around how and why young people are choosing to use cannabis products. To learn about youth perceptions around the differences between medical and recreational cannabis use, nine youth between the ages of 14 to 19 completed a pre-meeting survey and participated in two focus groups held virtually in 2022. The majority of the group self-declared as female and white. Out of the nine youths, one participant had used cannabis recreationally and two had used cannabis for medical reasons. Youth were asked to rate eight scenarios on a scale ranging from medical use to recreational use. We used two scenarios to establish a reference point or baseline for comparison. The first control scenario used language around medical cannabis use and the second scenario was an example of a recreational intention. Two other scenarios had pretty similar ratings with most ranking these as medical uses, despite no mention of authorization or physician oversight. Other scenarios show a wide variability in responses, with some participants rating these as closer to recreational use and some rating these closer to medical use. Remember Laura's scenario from the start of the video? Here's what the youth thought about it. The variability in these ratings aligned with themes that were identified from focus groups with the youth. Confusion between medical and recreational cannabis, conflicting views on medical cannabis, and a need for better communication about medical cannabis. The first theme highlights the perceived similarities and differences between these two types of cannabis uses. I don't think that everyone realizes the medical aspect to it even though it may not be prescribed or legal. To me, what makes them different is with medical cannabis it's prescribed and it's used for a reason, to aid whatever is going wrong in the child, whereas recreational use is kind of being used for fun or it doesn't really have any purpose, and it's not a safe method to use it. The second theme highlights the conflicting opinions that youth have towards cannabis use for medical purposes and the conflicting messages that they receive. This sub-theme emphasizes youth perspectives on how and why cannabis should be treated like any other prescription medication. I was prescribed a cannabis-infused product for nausea and pain, and I was really nervous to start it. I didn't know how I was going to feel on it, and it was one of the most effective medications that I've ever taken. I think there's a lot of research going on now, or at least I'm starting to hear about how prescription cannabis is better for you than taking an opioid, and they have similar effects at removing pain. The second sub-theme speaks to reasons why youth felt that consuming cannabis was not safe and how society reinforces this idea. A lot of the messaging around substance use, if any, was abstinence only, never use substances under any circumstances, that it is a morally wrong thing to do. We had a few presentations about cannabis. It didn't really delve into the medical section, but those programs were very much geared towards why you shouldn't do it. Youth shared that they would like easily accessible information, and they wished healthcare providers acknowledged more often when they don't have all of the information about the long-term effects. I would want to know all of the side effects and also the risk for addiction, or if it's going to make it harder to do other parts in your life. Having it formatted in two ways, having it in a youth-friendly format for youth to understand would be great, and then having a format for the doctors. Youth also noted the importance of receiving information from a reputable source, such as a hospital or an educational website. I think having an open conversation with your healthcare team and getting sort of supplemental information and allow you to ask the questions should you need to. From listening to youth, we learned that there is mixed views about medical cannabis, and there is a need for accessible and reliable information tailored to youth. Youth need to feel safe having discussions about cannabis with their healthcare providers. And this information will help improve messaging about medical cannabis research and guide us in delivering it in effective ways. We want to thank all of the youth who contributed to this project and our ongoing youth advisors. C4T is committed to involving youth in every step of our research to help improve the health of children, youth, and their families.